Hi, I'm the Tin Man, and welcome to episode 13 of the Road to Dice Gear series. These are the goals for this series, and what I've accomplished so far. Let's dive right in. The hunt for the Fang has officially started. I'm actually really curious how many middle pieces I'm going to have uh, once I finally get the Fang. I've already got two, and uh, with the Fang being... Well, any hilt is one out of a hundred, and then the Fang will be one out of four, because I'm not using the uh, advantageous style. Uh, so it's going to be 1 out of 400 for the Fang, and then the leg pieces are 1 in 40. So odds are is I get 10 more middle legs, so I'll have 12 total. I'm a little optimistic about my Fang luck and a little pessimistic about my leg luck. So I'm thinking I'm going to have 8 middle legs by the time I get the Fang. And so it begins. And other than a couple minor mishaps in the beginning that led to some deaths, like cleaving while zerked into a web on P3 or something like that, uh, it went really smoothly. Uh, Raxor is definitely a boss that I like, and I can definitely camp the shit out of it when I need to. So, definitely a lot of fun camping Raxor a lot for the first time in a long while. Some people did notice that there wasn't a video last week and uh, messaged me or asked me about it. Uh, and I did respond to pretty much everyone that asked me, and I basically said that, you know, it was Thanksgiving in America, so I didn't make a video. But... In the future, for holidays like that, I'm going to have things planned to happen during the break so I'm not just gone with no explanation. But unfortunately, when I was on break, I was using my laptop, which is a pretty... It's pretty bad, to be honest. It's uh, not the most ideal. So when the video all of a sudden cuts to you know 720p instead of 1080 and the frame rate's pretty bad, that's 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 why. So I wasn't able I tried to do Virago on the on my laptop and it just did not did not go well. When absolutely nothing is happening, I was getting like twenty FPS on my laptop, but as soon as anything started to happen, like Beastmaster spawned or anything like that, it would just drop faster than a lead balloon to like four to six. And doing Virago especially trying to do trios on 4 or 5 FPS, especially P5 with bleeds and everything. It was just not it was just not a fun experience at all. So I managed to get one kill. I did, like, three total attempts before I just, like, you know, gave up completely. And I died on two of them, and the kill I did get, I ended up signing to a team split because I missed it. Because based on like the frame rates, I was spam clicking in the team split to stay in it, but I was like slightly behind. So as soon as I got in the team split, I started where I was spam clicking put me out of it. So I basically just like ran in the team split and then walked out. And then right as I walked out, it hit me and signed me. So I definitely missed a lot of team splits, which contributed to the dying factor. Oh my god, what the fuck? That was like 40 kills and I'm done. What? Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done. Holy crap. I am done. I am so done with the Raxor. That's it. I... What? Oh my gosh. That was literally like 50 kills. That was like... Oh my god. <laughs> That's... Holy crap. That's awesome. That is the best. Okay, let's make this. Let's make this. Uh, let's make this scythe. Unaugmented scythe. Let's look at it. Yes, I'd like to wear it. Look at it with its lack of gear. There's the uh, filthy augmented scythe that I've had for forever, and then the shiny new, brand new, non-augmented scythe. Yes! Oh my god, that only took like 40 kills! What was I saying? I was gonna get like 8 leg pieces or something? Or some shit? Like, I, don't, I didn't get any leg pieces there. Jeez. I cannot believe that I got that lucky with the fang. That my Araxor luck these past few drops have just been insane. Like, getting the leg on the first kill that I came back, and then literally, like... What's my kill count now? 1198 for two knock sets. That's ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. I was at like, I think I was at 1161 when I got that top leg. Because I remember, yeah, that was, 
because I remembered I was like, oh, I'm only a couple kills away from 1169. I'll quick chat and it'll be great. And then I totally forgot. Um, but wow, that's. Oh my gosh. Hey! Oh, I forgot to drop something! No! Good one. <laughs> oh Good my one. god. Good one, You're praying for invention batch too. God now, fucking damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh, that could have been an acto body. The one time I forget to drop something and I get like a fucking acto helmet. Oh, what? I guess that's kind of cool. It's got to be some super rare RDT drop, but I mean, I guess I'll take it. It's probably, you know, like 1 100th the chance of a crest or a lance, but you know. That's, uh, that's neat, I guess. I still don't exactly know what I'm going to do with this Acto Helmet. This, uh, extra useless Acto Helmet. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep it around. Just as a memento of my failure to remember to drop an Acto piece. And what the potential consequences of that are. Because now, I don't have to get 21 Acto pieces. I effectively have to get... 22 acto pieces. So, and considering the dry streak I went on from 21 or from 15 to 16, that hurts. It's I still just can't believe that the one time that I get acto is the time that I forget to drop the piece and I end up getting something that's useless. There was a two-fifths chance that I was still going to get something useful. And I would have been like, oh, whoops, I forgot to drop something, but that's okay, I still got something. But here it's just like, oh my gosh, like, why? You all know I couldn't stay away forever. I was thinking I was just going to smash out a bunch of Araxor, but I kind of finished Araxor, so I kind of have no more excuses left to not go back to Telos. So, I'm back. As with starting any boss after a break, the beginning was a little rough, definitely uh, getting hit by some of the specs and having to eat way more than I should, but, you know, I eventually got into the groove of it and started being able to eat less again, and I got back to where I was fairly quickly. Yes, yes, I got him. Right on tick. Right as he started charging the bomb. Ooh, raw rock tail. I'm getting, like, better, kind of, at P5. For a couple of the kills, I was trying to do the high enrage method where you, like, Natural Instinct, and then Sunshine, and Revenge, and then Detonate, or Ucade, and then Detonate, and Tsunami. And I was just messing it up every single time, so... These recent kills, I've just been trying to uh, Sunshine, and then Tsunami, and Dragon Breath. And that obviously kills him, because I'm at a lower enrage, but I'm hoping that that will, like, carry on, and a Sunshine Tsunami with an Ox Staff will be enough. As long as they're bunched up right. Yes. Another... Two in a row where I get it on tick that he's charging the bomb. All right. Nice. For some of the kills, I was trying the advanced method with the revenge and the detonate and tsunami and the sunshine, but I eventually gave up on that because it was a little clunky with the lower health of the minions, and I eventually just went with a, like a natural instinct into sunshine into tsunami kind of thing, and a dragon breath and corruption blast afterwards if they needed it, and that got it, you know, four out of five times. Three uncut onyx. Wow. That's really good. That is... That is really good. I've stacked up some pretty good loot here. Like, incandescent energies, a bunch of raw rock tails, crushed nests, uncut onyxes, some alkables. Nice. Oh my gosh, that was a beautiful P5. That was a beautiful P5. Got a nice sunshine, did a bunch of damage there. I had a green beam, I had a green bleed, uh, green beam didn't move, so I just was able to just instantly onslaught, that was beautiful, and for a bunch of alcables, nice, it's like two and a half mil right there in alcables, I'm back, 284, extended runic, got my sign back, let's go see if I can push and rage past 315, that would be, that would be awesome, if I could do that. Well, that sucked. P1 I signed because I didn't... Forgot to activate the uh, aura, 
so it was taking forever. And then he so much powered me because I wasn't watching the special and I had no health, and so I died, or signed there. And then P3 had decided to do three of the little explodey things in like three ticks. So yeah, 5k, 5k, 5k isn't something that I can like eat through because I was only sitting at like eight or nine k health. So that just happened. But oh well, gonna keep trying to push. Gonna start it. 320 or whatever the highest is plus 5. Um, that was a 16 kill streak, so still got some really good loot. Two onyxes, definitely, definitely really awesome. Pays for all of the deaths, um, pretty much, because each death is like, each onyx is like six deaths, so this covers a lot of it. Um, and then Raw Rock Dells are always nice. Crush Nest for the bruise. All this stuff is pretty good. That was, that was rough. But I got it. Finally. Okay. Just straight money. I'm gonna continue. I know that I'm likely to die. Very likely to die. But I'm just gonna continue. Because I've seen a lot of people get orbs. Um, just straight going for Warden. So maybe I'll get that too. As you can tell from the one kill streaks here. I ended up dying a lot. And uh, this is the part where I was gone on break, and I wasn't—I was able to do my raids. Um, I was able to struggle through that, but I wasn't really able to do any other PVM effectively. Uh, I mentioned earlier I tried to do Rago, and that failed miserably. Um, but for future stuff like this, uh, I've got a tentative plan to just camp a ton of Vindicta and kind of just leave Vindicta camping for that, for any aftershocks that I need and want to stock up in the future. And I'm only going to camp for the aftershocks that I need, like, right now for the weapons that I have. So that I'm not doing nothing on breaks and I can still do something. Oh, nice! Finally, another aftershock. That was a fairly decently long dry streak. I'm at, uh, 972 now. And I think it's been a good amount of time since I got a dry streak. Since I got it. <clears throat> since I got an aftershock drop. I was able to do some team split, and being only one wand split off of getting a seismic wand, I'm going to save that aftershock uh, until I get the wand, instead of making it now and putting it on my ascension crossbow, because the wand is going to be way, way more useful for me than an ascension crossbow. So the ascension crossbow, I can wait to put aftershock on that, and I'm just going to prioritize getting a wand first and putting the aftershock on my wand, and then if I get another aftershock, then I'll put then I'll put it on my ascension crossbow. I got really lucky this week. I managed to get a scythe after only 40 kills of camping it, and I did get an acto drop, but it was a helmet because I forgot to drop a piece, so it's useless. I've also got an aftershock in the form of a crest of zeros that I have yet to disassemble for the components, but as soon as I get a wand, I'm going to stick it on there. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Be sure to like if you enjoyed it and comment if you've got something to say or any questions and i do make new videos every thursday so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more